Okay, hello and welcome to another lesson. And today we're going to talk about legal and regulatory issues. And this is module 1.5a. So today we're going to talk about transborder issues and the privacy terminology that's presented in this particular micro module. The first one here is that we're going to talk about is the Vassanar Agreement. There are 41 countries that have agreed to not distribute cryptographic tools for our intents and purposes. There's other things in the agreement as well, but uh, the intent here is to prevent things like subversion and revolution or an imbalance of power. The next concept in the transborder issues is the privacy shield, and that's basically a program here in the U.S. that allows companies or helps companies to comply with the GDPR. And basically you apply through the Department of Commerce, and they are the ones who provide oversight. And if you're a shipping company or an airline company, then it's going to be the U.S. Department of Transportation that regulates. And the Federal Trade Commission is the one who's going to regulate all others. So in order to participate in the Privacy Shield, you have to agree to a couple of things. First of all, you have to agree to create a policy, an internal policy that says you're going to comply with the GDPR. And then you have to basically agree that you're going to submit to the regulator. And then you have to basically self-certify. And then you have to recertify annually with them. So let's get into some quick privacy terms. And you're probably familiar, familiar with most of these. There's the personally identifiable information. There's PII. There's a data subject, data owner, or data controller. There's the data custodian, and then the data processor. And then there's one more here, but that doesn't, for some reason, it's not presented until a later module. So I, but I wanted to throw that in here anyway, data steward. And that's because a lot of these start with the term data. And so it's going to be really easy to get those all confused. So PII, personally identifiable information, I believe most of us probably work with that on a daily basis. You can put other things in this middle I as well, H for health, um, card for credit card, put whatever in there. Some people call it PXI. Data subject, that refers to you and I, basically the person who the data pertains to. There's the data controller or the data owner. This is the person who is responsible for the security of the data. And then we have the data custodian. The data custodian is somebody who's usually a manager or an admin. And this is according to ISC squared. So it doesn't matter what you think or the terminology that you use in your work or in school that you learned. This is what ISC squared wants you to know is that the data custodian is usually a manager or an administrator. The term data processor, that's somebody who does the work, somebody who works for a manager or an admin handling the data, encrypting the data, transmitting the data. You're, they're the ones pushing the buttons. And then this last little term down there at the bottom, if I move my cursor, it's going to block it, but it's called a data steward. And this was a new one for me. I'd never heard of this before, but this one basically refers to the user of the data, the person who is using that information to carry out some type of um, mission supportive thing. So somebody who handles the data on a daily basis, uses it to carry out the mission of the organization, so on and so forth. So for example, a, a data steward who works for the IRS might be a collector or something like that. Okay. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you would like to get some practice answering some difficult questions and original questions, head on over to cissprep.net. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.